All right, guys, today is new kayak day. We received the new Quest Teton from Dick's Sporting Goods. Got ours yesterday. So excited to try this thing out. Uh, we needed a budget-friendly kayak. We didn't have a lot of money to spend, so we went with this one from Dick's Sporting Goods. We're going to take it out. We're going to throw it up on the stands, unpackage it, show you guys what it is. And, guys, if you're looking at getting a new kayak or your first kayak, you should stick with us. We'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. All right, nature lovers, this is a 10 foot, three inch, uh, sit on top functioning kayak. Very well done. I like the places they put texturing. I like all the bungee accessories. The seat looks really good. It does take a little bit of ex um, assembly. You have to redo some straps on the bottom, but other than that, it's freaking amazing. I mean, really, really nice. Uh, the weight of this kayak is 55 pounds. It is designed as a solo kayak paddler, meaning just one person, but you can always carry your dog. My, my dog Parker is looking forward to this. And it has a lot of cool accessories. It has a 31 inch width, which makes it very stable when you're out on the water. And then there's a ton of cool accessories that are just gonna make it easy if you wanna fish off of it or just want it as a recreational kayak. So let's dive into it. Now, first off, let's talk about the accessories that make this kayak so nice. Like I said, 10 and a half feet long or 10 foot three, real nice carry handle, as you see here, very nicely done, making it really easy. You've got yourself a nice little front bungee area up here on the front deck, which allows you to, I would generally throw my uh, dry bag or my lunch cooler or anything along those lines up front. If you're wearing a rain jacket or if you're just dressed in layers where you're wearing shorts and you want to be able to change it out, this is perfect. You stick your stuff here. It's easily accessible if that's where you want it. And it just makes it that much easier for you. Next, we're going to scoot back just a little. As you see, very nice little footwell. Makes it where it does have these three preset footrests, which make it where, depending on how tall or how short you are, you can still be able to carefully paddle. You want to be all the way back in the seat and you want your feet almost your legs extended you want to be bracing yourself just in case something goes wrong or in case you just need to strengthen yourself and keep from flipping stability is everything as you see right here you got yourself a nice little six inch gear track perfect for a gopro mount or a fish finder if you want to get into that lots of options when it comes to that two nice scupper holes up front and what those are going to do is if you're fishing moving water the water is going to come over the front of the deck it's going to come back here and as you see it's all dove out making making it where all the water is going to want to funnel itself back to these holes and out of the kayak that's awesome that's what it should do next we got ourselves water bottle not included we got ourselves a molded water bottle resting area very cool come back a little further we've got ourselves a gear track on both sides here these are probably 12 inch no probably nine inch nine inch let's go nine inch so very cool come back just a little further you've got yourself a locking meaning you just twist a lock and it locks not it has a key storage area perfect for your cell phone anything like that anything small one of the big secrets when you're kayaking is understand that everything you're using needs to either be waterproof, in something waterproof, or tethered to the kayak so if you flip, you don't lose everything. Next is we go back here to where the seat goes. You've got these really nice seat latches that just keep the seat for 
like I said before, if you flip your kayak, you don't want to lose your seat. I guarantee you this probably is probably just under $100, if not more, uh, to replace the seat. So flip those latches. It's going to keep it in place. Uh, I like the seat. These seats, as opposed to those funky little butt cushion ones, this right here is going to make it where you're, if you're on the water for an all-day kayak trip or just out having a good time, this right here is going to help you. I have a bad back, so having a comfortable seat is everything. It's a huge plus for me, and as you see, very nicely done. So we're going to flip these things on, take the seat, move it out of our way. As you see, we have two more scupper holes back here in this area, like I said before, designed to funnel all that water back to here and back to here and out of the boat. That's what you want. It's super important and it just makes it where when you, if you sit, if you're using a sit on top kayak and you flip it, the water will all bail out. If you're sitting in a sit inside kayak, it turns it into a bathtub, meaning all that water fills up and there's nowhere for it to go. Unless you flip it back over on another kayak, preferably a sit on top, or if you take it to the bank and get it out that way. Now let's talk about this seat. Next, on the side of the seat, on both sides, there is a paddle holder. This is a little bungee. You're gonna lay your paddle across here, reach it up and over, and attach it that way. Really nice ergonomic carry handles on both sides, making it where if you're loading and unloading, handles are important. You've got one on each end and two on the sides. Gonna make it where if you're rooftoping this thing, super easy. Also, with the seat being removable, make it where when you put it up on the roof, everything's flush. There's nothing standing up. The handle's not on top of the gear, on top of the kayak where it's gonna catch on that roof rack. Very cool, very ergonomic, a big plus in this kayak. Also, right here, drain plug on the side. Most kayaks, they're gonna put it at one end or the other. This is way above the water line, and it's also gonna make it where all you have to do is put it on its side all that water is gonna funnel back to this drain plug and drain out of the kayak. Right. Next, we've got ourselves our seat. Our seat, really nice with bottom support, nice high bolster, making it easy for you. So let's start over. Next, we're showing you the seat. The seat itself, very comfortable. Nice comfort on your bottom, so if you're sitting on it all day long on a day trip, that's gonna make it super, you're not gonna have that stress and that fatigue on your lower back. The back of the seat here has this nice little arc to it, making it nice and ergonomic for you to sit. Quick, easy adjustment straps. Adjust them this way, lay it back, chill on the beach, whatever you're doing. Very nice, I like this. And it's got that mesh bottom, making it where if it gets wet, it's all gonna drain out. It's not gonna stick, not gonna, you know, it's gonna dry off quickly. dogs. Next we're back here at the rear tank well. The rear tank well has two rear facing rod holders. Also works great if you're wanting to run a GoPro. I, am, I, am, I made um, a painter's pole modified for a GoPro. Puts a really good angle on it. Makes it where you can get that view of where you're going, not just where you've been. Very cool, easy to use. Next you've got a big tank well area rigged out with a bunch of different bungees. It has a nice little quick adjustment latch. I like this. This right here is ideal for like a five gallon bucket, but a fishing crate. Also more of that texturing back here and two more scupper holes. Also, as you see, everything funnels back here and out of the boat. Real nice adjustable bungees, lots of options when you're looking at this. Very cool. Next, as we get to the rear of the boat, we have ourselves another ergonomic carry handle. Very easy to carry. All right, so the kayak itself has a long-nosed multi-chain hull, which makes this plastic just really glide. At 31 inches wide, it is very stable, but the keel that goes through it just makes it very track very nicely, making it where you're going straight, it stays straight when you want to turn because of the rocker, which is the arch in the bottom, makes it where it turns easily. Very nice kayak. See the way they're scalloped out? Makes it where the drain plugs, the scupper holes, don't catch water, don't create any resistance. 
Very nice. Very nicely made. All right, so if this is your first kayak, one of the biggest things you need to do before you even go on the water, I'm gonna talk about this before we finish up with this kayak. This is what you need to get. Now this is a PFD, it's a personal flotation device. This one's made by NRS and it is kayak dependent. Don't buy one of those cheap orange things and don't buy one that's designed for like jet skiing and water skiing. This one has an exposed back, really nice to weight mesh, makes it easy to dry, but it has this bolster higher up, which helps just makes it where when you're sitting in a chair like this, it's not gonna push you forward and make it more uncomfortable. One of these can save your life. I've been doing this over 30 years and I know I have lost people from that silliness of not wearing one, thinking you're gonna, you're great. It's not about how good of a swimmer you are, it's about circumstances. So please do us all a favor. I pray for you and your family. If you're going on the water, put it on. So I'll put a link down below to Dick's Sporting Goods where you can go pick one of these up for you. I think it's a great first kayak. Uh, Sit-on tops are much safer than sit-inside kayaks. And this one right here is going to do very, very well for you if this is your first. If you have any questions or anything about that, go over, shoot them down below in the comments. Give it the old thumbs up. Join our, be a subscriber. Join our community. Ring that bell and get notified every time we post a new video. And guys, we thank you. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, if you have any questions, we also are available on social media. We're on Facebook and on Instagram, and we would love to answer any of your questions. If this is your first kayak or your 10th kayak, and you just want to know certain things about it, we'd love to hear from you because that's the most important thing we want you guys to get out of this. Not just get on the water, but do it right and be safe doing it. So we want to say thank you to each and every one of you for stopping by. God bless each and every one of you. Hope you have a wonderful week ahead. And like I said, have a question. Let's hear it. Thank you guys. Hope you have a great week. We'll see you soon.